And welcome back for yet another Haichu Review. Once again, joined by our guest host, Bruce. Hey guys, good to be here doing another Haichu Review. We've had a good run, and it's good to have you back on the show. Bruce, how excited are we for this flavor? We're pretty excited. I mean, so we've both had this flavor before, and, um, you know, not to give too much away ahead of time, but... Good point. Um... But we're excited. When we first purchased this flavor, the unconventionality of it was so much striking, and we were all very skeptical in the Haichu tasting community of what to take for this non-fruit flavor. Haichu is really known for their exotic fruit offerings. So when we came across this yogurt, we have, have to admit that we were a little skeptical at first. Yeah. And also, plain yogurt? I mean, who makes candy out of that? I've never seen a yogurt-flavored candy of any sort. And so that's why we're so excited about this one. Uh, I ordered this one off eBay. It looks like we have some Japanese lettering here and here, but then the ingredients on the back, that looks like, not that I know for sure, but that looks like Thai to me. What do you think, Bruce? With yeah. English tr translation. Well, yes, we have English up here, and then that's certainly not Japanese, and is maybe Thai. So I'm not looks exactly... Looks like maybe it could be Arabic to me. I mean, they do maybe. enjoy their yogurt that's in true. the Mediterranean that's countries. That's true, so. and I don't know if they have yogurt in Thailand. but um, So maybe this is a Turkish... Uh... That would be wonderful. I've never uh, seen a Turkish flavor. Anyone you know who out there who can translate any of this, please chime in. But let's just jump right in. One thing you will not need to translate is the flavor of this wonderful chew. Yes, that speaks across all languages. So here we don't have the cartoons on there. We just have a nice high chew. Oh, looks like this here. one splits right down the side. Oh, that's okay. And what's interesting about that, it's, it's a solid yogurt flavor, no kind of outer inner variance. And note the outer of the wrapping just says haichu on it in plain English. So it, that's certainly not a Japanese flavor because they would have the little cartoons on there, wouldn't they? Let's just pop these suckers in. So good. So, so good. Pretty, pretty good. Can't say it tastes like yogurt in any meaningful way. Well, I would, well, I would say it does, and it almost has that... Maybe well, like vanilla frozen to? yogurt. Yeah, but it has that little bit of tartness, which you almost find in like a pinkberry yogurt. I don't know what pinkberry yogurt is. It's a frozen yogurt place. Mm. I don't really eat yogurt, which is kind of the other strange uh But yet you're a big fan this. of these. Yeah, it's po probably my favorite haichu flavor. If I had to pick. It's so smooth and mellow. And, and for all you fellow uh, high chew tasters out there who enjoy sampling multiple different flavors in a sitting, yogurt is really perfect to uh, break up the monotony of any other high chew flavor too. Yes, for any of those particularly sweet or sour or strong flavors, this is a nice mellow balance to any of that. And, you know, I don't understand why you couldn't, why they wouldn't market these in America why this has to be such a rare, hard to find flavor. It's just, it's so unique. It's so easy on the palate, refreshing. What more is there to say? Find so Morinaga, if you're listening, it's time to come out with a new variety bag that includes yogurt, melon, melon. and either grapefruit or lemon fizzy. Oh, lemon fizzy. Stop underestimating the American market. <laughs> You know, we're not all just, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's more than just strawberry and cherry out here. We like our more subtle flavors that have depth and um, sophistication. Well, viewing audience, I don't know if you're able to get your hand on any of these yogurt high chews, but if you're able to, you're really in for a nice treat. So I highly recommend scouring the internet but please don't be driving up those bids on our ebay yogurt high chews because i'm not a wealthy man so you can imagine <laughs> these guest view spots on high chew review shows do not help <laughs> me pay the bills well we're doing what we can and again always great to have you so and until great to next be here. time <laughs> bye bye